What's good, y'all, man? It's Gucci Boy Boz, man. I'm over here checking out this um this. I just got some news, man. White Thot, Throtty White Jizzle, man. He he he's locked up right now, man. He got caught in the Rico. This is a rapper I wanted to do a song with. Rapper that I was looking at. I was telling everybody he gonna make it. He's a problem. He, good music. He got the image. And I ain't gonna lie, I was fucking with this shit heavy. Especially because he's from Boston right there. I fuck with a lot of Boston guys. We down here in Rhode Island. You know what I'm saying? So basically, man, they on him, man. They on him. They got him. That's what they do with the rappers, man. The feds, the, the cops, you know, you know how it is if you're a rapper. You know, the gang, you know, they're going to they're gonna fuck with you. They're going to stay on your ass. They're going to always jump out on you always because that's just what they do, man. You know how it goes. And it's just, it's just, it's sad because honestly, I seen the talent in them. I already seen the talent. Like I told a bunch of podcast people about him. I told um just a bunch of artists I seen around like, yo, that dude, White Jesuit, man, he's a problem, man. He, he got it. I could see him like really going up, you know what I'm saying? And it's sad because it's like he found a lane. Where he can make this music, you know, make a bag. You know, I seen him on social media bragging about getting a YouTube check and all that. And, or even like his, you know, his streaming checks. And it's just sad, bro. Cause honestly, it's like you come up and then, you know, if you're taking this shit way too serious, see, I'm gonna keep it 100. I, I like to listen to an authentic rapper. So you gotta be what you're talking about. But then I don't wanna listen to like someone who's stupid. I'm not saying he's stupid, but. You kind of want to know how to wordplay your shit, you know, and do your shit smart. So, it's sad It's sad to see this shit happen, man. You know what I'm saying? Dude is young still. You know what I'm saying? You already know G. Fredo and um, 7981 Kyle. They went through this same situation. Boston don't play. They get on your ass. Them cops out there is crazy. I done been in Boston, chilled in Boston. I done seen how they jump out. How they look like regular dudes. They just jump out of regular cars. It's crazy. So, you know... They said they had like a two-year investigation on him. I'm covering this because I really fuck with his music. I listen to his music to this day. And I literally was going... I, I hit him up on the Instagram and shit. I was speaking with the uh, whoever's running his IG and shit. And we were supposed to line up a song. And we ain't never got to do the song because they said he was locked up. I think he called like a gun charge or some shit. But this shit is sad, man. I hate seeing people go down. I don't like that shit because on some G shit... I, I, I'm I the one who was like telling everybody down in Rhode Island, like, yo, this dude's going to pop. This dude's going to blow. I'm telling you. I, I can feel it. The music feels authentic. He's coming off hard. He got the image, and he's talking that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like how 50, when 50 Cent came out, man, everybody liked his shit, man. Everybody knew that shit was coming off hard, and it was aggressive, and it's fucked up, man, because, you know, even him, he had to go through the trials and tribulation, end up getting shot nine times, beefing, doing all this crazy shit. And it's sad that's what comes with it. Because you feel me? He could easily, like, this white jizzle dude could easily just meet somebody who knows the right people. And then they could come snatch you up, bomb, hit you with a deal. Now you get out the hood. You know what I'm saying? And just be on the road getting to it. You don't got to deal with all the bullshit. You know, because they said he got caught with, I guess, some fentanyl pills, um, two guns, um, just just a bunch of shit. COVID fraud, um, bunch of shit they're charging them with. I think it's like um three murder involvements or something like that. And even um I watched ten ninety Jake's um his podcast and he has said that Millie's had hit him up. Shout out to Millie's too. I just did a song with him. Y'all could check that out too if you want on here, you already know. But I guess Millie's had told ten ninety Jake that basically, yo, you should check out this kid Y Jizzle, Trotty Y Jizzle, you know, from Boston over there on He Street, you know. So I don't know. I guess he just got hip to it, but you know, it, hopefully he gets out the situation. Hopefully something good happens, and hopefully, um, you know, if he does got to plead out, hopefully the numbers ain't crazy. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit sucks, man. When you watch your shit go up, your numbers go up on your on your uh, your numbers going up on your videos, your streams. You're starting to get a wave, and then now shit just starts fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Cause this is a, a, it's, a it's a fallback. You gotta sit down if you gotta sit. Bad enough, you got to sit down. Get your lawyers right. Get prepared for the case. When you're going against the feds, it's crucial. You know going against the feds, you got to come correct or 90% of the time, niggas cop out. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to go against the feds on some trial shit because they sit you down. You know what I'm saying? And they're saying just off the guns he's facing like life. So you don't, you don't really want to fuck around with them guys. And just, you know, shout out to... to um. 
Shout out to all the guys who already was hip to Y Jizzle and already knew about him. Because I'm going to do one on Millie's too. Because I before Millie's blew, I was talking about Millie's too. Like, yo, he's going to pop. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a couple guys everywhere who I think who, who had the talent. And I ain't going to lie, he's fire. Y Jizzle, if you don't know him, check out his music. You feel me? He definitely goes hard. I got like SoundCloud music of his shit. He, he got some shit on Apple Music. He got shit everywhere, but I fuck with his shit. It's sad to see him. Get caught up in the mix. I done had a bunch of Boston dudes like, yo, hear this dude. He's really on that shit. He really be out here. So, you know, when I hear shit like that, I definitely get on it. I definitely want to know who the person is and and fuck with it. But it's sad to say, I think it was like 40 members or some shit. And they found like 60 weapons. It was crazy. So you can get up on the internet, you know, on your own time. And you can read up the article. I just wanted to get on here and just cover this situation and just let people know, you know. Got to be careful with with the shit you're rapping about. You got to be careful on the way you're moving, you know, because when you want to get this rap shit and you want to go up, you got to basically just try to stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to really be, while you're doing this shit, doing it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him and his team, man. And I'm going to be covering more news. I'm just going to start bouncing around, man. I'm going to be dropping music and I'm going to be dropping some to- some topics and subjects, you know, getting on it, you know. You know I'm still new to this. As we get bigger and better, we're going to um make better upgrades, you know, better um progress. And I just want to shout out to everybody who's fucking with me, man. My page is finally monetized. We got these subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the like, hit the bell, show love, man. It's Gucci Boy Boz. You already know.